Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take awesome photos within GTA 5. Now, rather than using the Snapmatic on your phone, that's a bag of crap. This way of doing it is much better. So the way we're going to be doing it this is we're going to actually be using the Rockstar Editor to get our own custom screenshots, which you can then press F12 to take a screenshot, which is what we'll be doing, and then you can then upload them to the Steam Cloud and then from there really. So what you need to do is just find your place where you want to take a screenshot and start, press, um, and start pressing F1 to start recording for the Rockstar Editor. Now what I'm going for is for a low camera around the back to get some of that dust in the way and have a good view of the back of the car. So there we go, that's what I did. So I went on the beach, I pressed F1, revved the engine and did that. Once you've done your shot, whatever it may be, you need to leave GTA Online and return back to the single player. Once you've done that, all you need to do then is to press the escape button and go across to the Rockstar Editor. Now I'll just do it in a second as you can see, there we go. So press escape. Go left once on the arrow keys and then press Rockstar Editor. So then create yourself a new project because we'll be doing it from the start and add yourself the clip of the clip that you've done, uh, you know, if it may be the recent one than that. And then proceed to go on to edit the clip which is just press enter loads of times in other words and that'll happen. Once you're in there you've got three different types of options we can change. There is a fourth which is audio but we're not going to be using audio because it's a screenshot. So there you go. Um, so all you need to do is Find your time marking on the time bar at the bottom. Now, obviously, uh, I didn't do mine straight away. If yours is, like, the, the shortest you can record a clip is three seconds. So if yours is just a still image, nothing happening, just a three second image, that's fine. You could just take it whatsoever. You don't need to worry about the timeline. But otherwise, find your, uh, your reasoning on there where it is and go down to camera and edit the camera to where you want the camera to be. Now, like I was saying, I want a low end shot with some roll uh, with a good back view of the car. And obviously, be sure to use zoom as well, uh, which is uh, Z and C. So there you go. If you don't know how to use the Rockstar Editor, I've got another tutorial on how to do that. Uh, I'll link the video in the description. You can go and check that out. So like I say, I'm going for this low down view with a little tilt. And as you can see, once that's done, move on to depth of field. Now this is probably the best option if you can get this option to work properly for you. Because so I know it's disabled on some lower end systems and stuff like that. So there you go. Just mess around with the knobs, like I'm saying, on all the set different types of settings until you get the ones you want. Then go on to effects, which is probably like half the image, you know, right here. Um, make sure to check out all the different types of effects and go through them very slowly and see what you like. I was a bit unsure um, in the end what I wanted to go for, but I thought... Just because this was just a demo test one, I just went for the one that looks looked the best, really. And I think that was, uh, yeah, that one. And then, obviously, after that, all you've got to do is um, mess with the filter intensity. So if you want it 100%, you can go less than that. You've also got saturation, contrast, brightness, and vignette, if that's how you say it. Um, and all those different types of options. If you don't know what um, what they do, what I, I recommend you do is just use page up and down, which is to, like, scale the numbers. Uh, use page up and down and drastically put them up to 100 and back down to minus 100. And that tells you the big difference. And then just work your way in between with what you think's best. So once you've found the right settings for you, obviously, like I say, take your time to decide which ones you really want. All you've got to do then is find the right time marking, um, because there's a little bug with the effects. Press H to get rid of the hood, and simply press F12 or whatever your screenshot button is for Steam. Or alternatively, get a third party program and take a better high quality screenshot from there. Uh, and you have it done, really, so there you go. Um, that is how you take an awesome screenshot within GTA 5 without using the Snapmatic. This is definitely much better than the Snapmatic version because you can get better camera angles, you can do the depth of feel better, and the effects you can also change the size on, so there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And if you guys have made any of images using this way, please link it in the description, uh, in the comments, sorry, and I'll definitely check those out if you do link them, so there you go. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye for now. Say I am.